Samantha George self-describes as head cook and bottle washer of her family, grew up watching her nanny making dumplings, as well as cooking shows on cable TV, got in some training and got married, had two kids. Her husband does their social media. We've definitely been seeing the fruits of our labor since the pandemic when we started our YouTube channel. The growth has been slow, but I've definitely gotten a lot more caterings. I have six caterings this month and that is the first. Definitely the tipping point. So catering is it. A third food cost, a third labor, and a third overheads and profit. That's it. I actually am very plain with people that hire me. Like this is how it breaks down and very transparent. If you want to cut down, just cut down the menu. Or, you know, make the party smaller. Chocha is so humble and simple, so it's like people are surprised that it tastes so good it works in a dish, but that's the nature of it. Because it's so mild, it works well in most dishes, like this chocha pie. And that's it. Just stick it in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 40 minutes. And then I'm gonna turn on the broiler and get it nice and bubbly on top. I really love Asian cuisine. My favorite cuisine to eat is Japanese. So go figure. I love to dab in a lot of those Asian flavors and I love to make stews. When I travel to restaurants or travel to different places, I'll taste something I like and I'll try to replicate it. Yeah, but my vegetarian portfolio is very good. I say I would become a vegan. The only way I would not become a vegan if I couldn't have stew peas. That's the one dish that I wouldn't give up meat for, which is stew peas. Love it. Pig's tails. I am very pro veganism. I try to get my boys to eat vegetables in different ways, whether through a smoothie or whether I'm wrapping it in a spring roll. Um, I do believe in it, but I still embrace the flavors of meat. I don't think there's anything that can really compare. All the dishes are unique in their own right. This is a quick dish you can make for Christmas. It's like a ragu really, but with chicken and shrimp. What do you cook for yourself? Um, what do you like eating? What do you, what is your family like? I'll make sushi. I'll do these nice sushi bowls sometimes. Um, sometimes when I'm really busy, tuna and rice, simple. Fried egg and rice. As I said, pulling from the Asian culture, those simple dishes we kind of really love going to. Pasta, homemade pizza, yogurt bowls. I try to do salads in smoothies form because that's how my boys prefer it. And yeah, we eat pretty normally. This is like a mix up of sorrel, passion fruit, and cranberry. You can add Angostura bitters to this as well. Social media definitely has influenced how I cook. Um, I think it forces chefs locally to push the limit a little bit, to sharpen their skills. So I consider myself like a shaggy baker or a raggy baker. I'm, my technique level is not a 10, it's more like a seven. So when I see these chefs do, I will like force myself to try something a little bit more technical and it's easier to learn. I remember going to a cooking class and the girl said, Jamaican food is so heapish. And I'm like, that's the word. It's everything is heaped on the plate. So I think our flavors are there, but if we could just draw more from different cultures and different um, types of cuisine, like hot cuisine, learn how to encapsulate something differently, how to deconstruct a dish and make it more refined, I think we can draw more attention. So this is our beetroot chutney volleyball. And this makes a really great festive Christmas appetizer. I tell people all the time when they ask me, what, Chef Sam, what do you do? I'm like, okay, just liken me to the Jamaican Martha Stewart. In a nutshell, you know what that means. Me and my husband are out to build a food empire here. I want to bring food media, being a Jamaican, to the world. I want to share our story. Catering, it's a love-hate relationship. I don't love it like 100%. It's a lot of work. It's break back work but people want to taste my food so more caterings for sure people are calling me i'm booked out though don't call me i'm booked out for december guys so next year is more caterings more youtube content yeah that's youtube chef and caterer samantha george